Hello there. I hope you're doing well today. And today is another short tutorial video on um, the purpose of Unit 6 of the uh, Level 9 Harmony course through the Royal Conservatory. And the topic today is how we can use the um, 2 chord, which is also known as the supertonic chord, and the 4 chord, which is also known as the subdominant chord. Um, in um, our homework and also in our analysis. So this is kind of a short video just to outline some of the um, purposes of these chords and also how these chords can occur most effectively um, as a predominant function. So this, basically this means how the four chord and the two chord can be used um, right prior or right before a cadence. Um, now, basically, um, the predominant function of, of a chord is basically how the chord can work as a chord right before a cadence, especially an authentic cadence. So we can have two different functions here. We can go 4, 5, 1, which is outlined here. Or we can also go 2, 5, 1, which is outlined in this example, 6.3. Now, there are various ways that we can approach these chords, but basically the function here is that when we're doing our analysis, where we're working on outlining how pieces work and also seeing how the chords work, these are very common progressions. Um, the 2 5 1 progression um, is very, very common, especially in jazz music. I'll write that in here, and then we also have 4. 5, 1 as well. Now the 2, 5, 1 progression um, is, uh, can be used in a major key or a minor key. Um, and same with the, the, the 4, 5, 1. But the interesting thing here is that the 5, the dominant chord in both instances, will remain major in either a minor key or a major key. Because as we remember, in a minor key, the dominant chord always contains the raised leading tone, which means that we create a major triad as a part of that purpose. Now, something that's very interesting about the 4-5-1 progression, if we were to think of the 4-5-1 in the key of uh, C major, 4 would equal um, F, A, C. And then 5 would equal... G, B, D. So there are completely different notes that occur between these two chords. So something that we want to be careful of is we want to make sure that there, um, especially when working in four-part harmony, that we do not use um, parallel intervals such as in, uh, uh, fifths and octaves, and also that um, there's the possibility for um, contrary motion, which basically means the bass note can go from F up to G and then back down to C, but then the other notes want to go in the opposite direction so that we don't have issues with the vo uh, voice leading kind of creeping into our writing. But at the same time, It's a very secure sounding progression because we have a strong chord, the four chord, the subdominant chord, and then the dominant chord are very strong chords in a major key or a minor key. Four going to five, going to one. So it feels like there's a, a kind of a sturdiness <laughs> that occurs. Um, in a minor key is also the same uh, instance. Four is minor, five is major, going to one which is minor. It's again very, has a very strong or secure uh, sound to it. Now in a major key, the 2 5 one, also has um, a nice sound to it. And something that's interesting with the 2 chord is that if we uh, spell the 2 chord in the key of C major, um, that would equal D, F, A. But if we spell the five chord or the dominant chord in the key of C major, we have the notes G, B, D. So you can see how the D here is the same between the two chords. 
what I'll even do is highlight that and whoops, not entirely in red, but uh, yeah, anyway, I think you get the gist even with this by going like this and then like this, you can see the two chords have this a common tone. So there's a possibility for a smooth voice leading and it just sounds really good. Now in a minor key, the two chord in, a, for, in root position is used a little bit more rarely because the two chord in a minor key is actually a diminished chord. Um, so in root position, the, the two chord was not used as much. But later on, we're going to be learning about uh, first inversion chords where we can actually write chords um, in um, different inversions, and including um, or different organizations of the bass. And in that case, then, the two diminished chord can be used um, in a different function. But for now, um, a, a good predominant chord in the minor key is 4 going to 5 going to 1. So this was more of a, of a demonstration today and also with a little bit of uh, listening you could hear the strength and the, um, the, the sturdiness I guess you could say between the 4, 5, 1 in a major and minor key and also the 2, 5, 1 in a major key and how both of these chords the 2 chord and the 4 chord are very useful as chords that occur right before an authentic cadence. I do hope this information was helpful and look forward to seeing you for the next uh, tutorial. Thank you so much and take care.